It may seem strange to be going out to Pend today at a time when the world feels very unfamiliar. However, I'm still feeling fit and well, having routine and things which I know give me emotional space uh, seems like a really positive thing to do and so so here I am in Blackford Hill I've just set my painting and all my painting stuff out ready to get started you can see uh, over in the bottom left my painting um, quite an idiosyncratic clump of trees in Midmar and behind there's Blackford Hill and you see the cityscape in the distance and you see the shape of the land which is one of the things I'm particularly interested in something that's kind of drawn me to this location the layering, the layering of the space which are a really special part of the Edinburgh landscape and I've already mixed my colours for today and uh, I have um, already planned what I'm going to do then I have my brushes which are jammed into the ground my selection of colours which is quite a limited palette and this is a small A4 coloured image of my painting and I've been using Photoshop to try and work out what it is I want to do so I've probably been working for about an hour so far I'm really pleased with what I've been doing these kind of teal grey green lines describing the shape of the paddock as it goes down towards the allotments. It's now about half five and I've been out for about three hours. The sun's setting and uh, the light's gone. I need to leave it to dry so that I can then decide what I'm going to do next. And I'd hope to actually have this one complete for the exhibition. Celebrating the fact that the landscape in Edinburgh is built around seven hills. This painting, um, which is from Braidburn Park, has got a similar compositional structure. And particularly um, towards the run up to a show, I start to edit and review the work. and draw out what it is that the work is really about. I began painting for the show two and a half years ago and these small paintings, these are all water-based works, working with a very limited palette, putting myself in a position where I had to use the paint in a way which was moving away from the local colour. Thank you for looking at my work and I hope you've enjoyed getting some insight into my practice leading up to my exhibition, The World Outside. All the work can be seen online at the Open Eye Gallery. Thank you and bye-bye.